Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining today for the Fitchburg Public Library are two familiar faces. To, uh, maybe I'd call them my friends. I don't know. We'll see. By the end of this interview, they may or may not be my friend. It's Lisa and Kristen. They're back. Happy New Year. And uh, Lisa, uh, New Year's Eve, is it a big deal for Lisa or is it a, it's just another day? You know, I'm old, so I was in bed by like 10, so... Kristen, uh, yeah. you you have more of an exciting life than Lisa? Uh, slightly. I made it to midnight, but I was still in my pajamas. <laughs> I I uh, I took more of Lisa's approach, and uh, we wrap things up by 11 uh, here at the uh, Crosby household. I, it, I don't know. I don't know why, but this year's, it just didn't, I don't know. Was, New York, I, it was raining. It wasn't really exciting. And yeah, just midnight was like another long long too long far away and maybe when you have kids too i don't know it yeah that definitely also, makes it longer yeah <laughs> but uh either way happy new year to you both uh new year lots of fun happening at the fitchburg public library uh some things i haven't heard of before that we're going to talk about today for activities uh, but let's start uh, with the adults uh and you have some fun book clubs going on in fact three tell us lisa what do we yes. have so we have, first of all, it's our outreach book club technically, but we're meeting in the library this month. So it's book club at the cafe, but in the library. So if you come to the meeting room, we'll be in there on January 11th at 6.30. And it's a book club that's open to everyone. This month, we're going to be discussing Fuzz When Nature Breaks the Law by Mary Roach. So, yep. It's nature yeah. breaking the law, so it's pretty exciting. <laughs> and then we have our Wednesday morning book discussion on January 18th at 10 a.m. And they will be discussing a fiction book rather than nonfiction. So if that's more up your alley, it's The Woman Upstairs by Claire Massoud. And then our Good Yarn Book Club is technically in February, but it's like February 2nd. So squeaking it in this month. So it's going to be Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. And that's 1130 on February 2nd. Well, if you're going to bring the book club away from the cafe, are you guys going to bring like coffee in or something? Like, are you going to bring like coffee beans in there so it smells like a cafe? What are we doing to uh, enhance right? our uh, coffee experience? You know, we're encouraging people to bring in their own drinks because we don't know what people like to drink, but it's up for debate in the coming months what we're going to do. So, yeah. All right. Fantastic. You also have a new craft uh, coming for adults, which I am 100% in. I've complained to you guys many times. There's not enough adult crafts. This one's for you, Jeremy. So we're doing an adult craft program. It's going to be January 26th at 630. We're going to be making origami valentines. So get ready for February. Oh, man, I can't go to that. I can't fold paper, let alone <laughs> can, try to fold. We can fold, teach like, you how to fold paper. <laughs> Oh, geez. Well, I'm out. Uh, that's no, It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and, and doing it for Valentine's Day, that's even better. Mm -hmm. You can create something special for your loved one. That's yeah. the way I would do it. All right, Kristen, you're on. Spotlight's on you. Here we go. The winter reading program is upon us with a little bingo in it as well. Tell us about it. It is. So winter reading bingo has officially started. Again, you can sign up on Beanstack. This is a little sheet. You'll kind of see a little bingo card like this. So this is available um, in the library. You can track it on your own, but you will need to sign up on Beanstack. And if you've done any of our summer reading or winter reading before, you can log into your account and just click the new program. Um, if you haven't, we have all kinds of things. You can go to our website. If you're in the library, you can um, scan those and get yourself signed up. It's very easy. So what happens is there's this bingo card, there's activities, and there's minutes of reading. And so then once you get some reading done, you log that, you do some activities. Once you get a bingo, the first bingo, you come in and you can get a free book that you get to keep. So, um, and then once you filled out the entire card, you are entered automatically entered into a drawing for a $25 Target gift card. And this is for ages zero to a hundred. Um, every program has a, a winner. So every age group has a different winner. So there's lots of chances to win. Uh, Lisa, do you know uh, what the prize book is? You can... Do you guys have like 32,000 like uh, green eggs and ham books or like, what are we handing? You don't have to tell me, but is it a different, is it like you choose a book or yes, I was you get thinking to... about this? Like You get to pick it? your own book. So like each department, we have like a card of prize books in back. They're very nice, like usually hardcover, like brand new books, so. 
hardcover, you say, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Goods I might department have to sign have up for everything this. from board books to graphic novels to nonfiction to novels, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. And uh, is there any caveat that you have when you come and turn in your card that you have to say, I got a bingo? Like, <laughs> is that a thing? Like, the only thing is, is you have to track it on Beanstack. Uh, but please yeah. do come in excited and let us know you got a bingo. <laughs> yep. Well, you that know, way if we I can come give in, you a prize. Like, if... I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> anybody that comes in now and yells bingo, you know, they watch this program and they <laughs> exactly. deserve an extra prize. So. The Perfect. prize might be, uh, thanks for watching, but you know, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll have to see. Uh, awesome. All right. Well, we'll uh, do that. And we also have some fun programs coming up, including, <laughs> and if I say it fast, I will never get it right, but no <laughs> so fleece. No so fleece. What is, what? So no so fleece scarves. So you can make your own scarf. There is cutting involved, but you don't have to know how to sew. There is no sewing involved. So there's all kinds of fun colors of fleece. You'll cut things out, weave them together, and then you'll go home with your own scarf. And that's for ages nine to 12. And that is on Tuesday, January 17th at six o'clock. That one is a sign up only program. So we know how many people to accommodate. Um, and you can just give us a call at the youth services desk to sign up. And that's 608-729-1762. Um, so just give us a call. If you would like to- 762, get signed up now, now. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Perfect Sorry. timing. This weather's not going to stay this mild for long. You'll want a scarf. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got uh, Dino Feet. Uh, Dino Might. Okay, I got it in. Dino <laughs> Feet is here. Uh, tell us. It had nothing to do with anything. I just. Sure. This it. is for the younger age group, <laughs> ages two to five. And this is um, on a Friday, January 20th. You can come in and kiddos can make their own tissue box um, dinosaur feet. So, like uh, T Rack, what are we talking here? Whatever like they want to make, you know, they can add the claws, they can add the colors. Claws, mm. I, I think claws would be pretty cool if you can make yeah. claws put on that tissue box. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> All right, uh, well, turn in your bingo card with your dino uh, uh feet and a fleece uh, scarf, it'll be awesome. Uh, finally, uh, you have a uh, I think you said it was Spanglish, but I broke down Spanish time, so uh, tell us what we got here. Yeah, so a Spanglish story time, so it's a mix, mix of Spanish and English. Um, that is January 24th at 6 p.m., and that's for ages five to 12, so it's a little older group for story time. So if you know some Spanish or you don't, and it's for everyone. So come on in and you can learn a little bit. Or and that is a drop-in activity? Yep, that's just a drop-in. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, Kristen, where can they find more information about all the great programs that you guys have to offer there sure. at the Pittsburgh Public come on, Library? Um, come on in. We have flyers everywhere. Um, also, you can go to our website, find our calendar. Everything's up through February right now. You can see what we have available. Um, story times are starting up again. So make sure you check that out. That will all count toward your reading bingo. Um, but yeah, sign up for yeah. our emails too. And we'll mm -hmm. send you each week what's going on. All right, Lisa, tough question here. You're making those resolutions now, right? Or you maybe did it before the years but mm -hmm. if you were going to say make a resolution to come visit the Fitchburg Public Library what if somebody hasn't been in there it's been a long time maybe it's pre-COVID they hadn't been in there since what are they missing yeah they're missing all sorts of stuff Jeremy like we have all these great programs like we're talking about we have some new shelving if you haven't been in recently like right in the entryway it features our new books like all sorts of new stuff lucky day collections we also have technology you can check out with kindles and rokus that you can come and check out so we've got all sorts of stuff going on i'm telling you if you haven't been to the library you're missing out we have a very active library and i think library means so much more than it ever has as far as fun activities uh, a place to gather and have some fun get some books uh, and you guys do it up really well there. So thank you. Thank you to you both uh, for putting up with me for uh, nine minutes. And uh, we'll see you uh, both uh, hopefully real soon uh, the rest of this year. Sounds good. Thanks, Jeremy. Thank you. Thank you.